They escaped Latvia um, during the war, and then they spent five years in a refugee camp in Germany. And uh, then they came to this country, and they, they picked broccoli for $5 a day in Seattle, Washington. And, and then, so they were migrant workers, and then my father got an opportunity to uh, go to the University of Washington, and he became a doctor in chemistry. And then our whole family moved to Minnesota, where he proceeded to um, invent about 48 things for 3M. He was in the who's who in, for, in America for, I have to oh, read this down. Look at you with for the research. For phenolic resin chemistry, and it's, it's where all the world iron uses the technology he created. I was so impressed. Yeah, he created this, uh, I think about 90% of metal casting in America is um, based on my dad's, um, he, he kind of specialized in catalysts, and he created these um, dog bones made of, of sand that were held together by glue, that if you poured molten lead over it, it would be strong enough to sustain that, and then when it set, then you'd hit the pipe and the sand would disintegrate. Mm. So it had to be incredibly strong and, and heat proof and then incredibly fragile at the same time. And uh, I think 90% of metal casting is based on that, that, wow. that thing that, that he invented. <laughs> it's nice of you to mention my father today. Yeah.